Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to use glitter iron-on vinyl. This vinyl is so sparkly and it's super fun to customize clothes with. It's very easy to use and I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. First, I uploaded my design to Cricut Design Space. You need to resize your image to whatever size you want for your shirt. I used a measuring tape to measure the space on my shirt. When you have it sized, hit make it in the top right corner and it will bring you to the matte preview. A very important step whenever you're using heat transfer vinyl is to turn on the mirror toggle in the left toolbar, which will flip your design. This is because we will be cutting on the underside of the design that will be laid flat against the shirt when we iron it on. Hit continue, connect your machine, and then you want to set your base material to glitter iron on vinyl. I usually select more pressure to get a nice clean cut. Make sure your fine point blade is loaded in your machine and then you're ready to go. This is the Cricut brand glitter heat transfer vinyl, but I have had success with other brands of glitter HTV as well following these same steps. Always lay your iron-on vinyl shiny side down on the cutting mat. The shiny side is a carrier sheet that you put your iron or heat press on top of, and we don't want to cut into that. We want to cut from the underside where the actual vinyl is, which again is why you always need to mirror your designs. I applied my vinyl to the cutting mat, loaded it into the machine, and started the cut. Once the cut was done, I used my hook tool to weed the design. Weeding is extra tricky with glitter vinyl because it can be quite difficult to see your cut lines, especially if you have a very detailed design. You might find it easiest to hold it up to a light source, or I have seen some people do a draw and cut function with their Cricut so that the cut lines have a black outline drawn with a marker. Cricut has a heat guide on their website that gives you heat transfer instructions for whatever it is you're using. I've linked it in the description. I'm using a household iron, so I just use these instructions as guidelines, but my iron doesn't actually tell me what temperature it is, so I just estimate and hope for the best. No disasters so far. I have this heat press mat I got on Amazon. It's not the Cricut brand one, it's a cheaper one by a different brand, and it works great. I've linked it in the description as well. Cricut doesn't recommend using an ironing board as a surface to iron on. Before I got this mat, I used to use a regular bath towel and it worked just fine. I've got the heat mat inside the shirt under the space where I want to put my design. The instructions say to preheat the fabric, so that's what I'm doing with my iron here. You just want it to be warm before you place the design on it. Then you can line up your design wherever you want it. I have these nifty t-shirt rulers I got on Amazon, but before I had these, I would fold my shirt in half and iron a crease down the middle to line up the center of the design. Then I placed my iron down on one side of the design with pressure and held it there for 30 seconds and slowly moved across the design doing this in each section. I did one final smooth out all over to make sure nothing was missed. Then I flipped the shirt inside out and ironed from the other side for another 15 seconds. The instructions say to do a cool removal, so you just want to wait until everything feels cool to the touch, and then you can slowly peel back the carrier sheet. If anything is peeling up with the carrier sheet as you're removing it, you can go back over it with your iron or heat press to make sure it's fully transferred. I didn't have any issues with that this time, but it tends to happen with designs that have a lot of tiny details in them. You should always wash and dry a brand new shirt before applying heat transfer vinyl so that if it's going to shrink, your design doesn't get damaged. Make sure you avoid using a fabric softener. And that's it! Cricut says their iron-on vinyl lasts for 50 washes or more and recommends washing inside out. I've washed my glitter vinyl projects several times and the glitter still looks just as sparkly as day one, so I'm really impressed with its durability so far. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. See you later.